Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel, Now the News in Detail. Around 20 years ago, in 2004, dreaded gangster politician Mukhtar Ansiri Empire was at its peak. He would move around in open jeeps and even carry a light machine gun. No police officer had the audacity to confront him but for silencing the then deputy superintendent of police whose dogged pursuit of Ansari led to the recovery of the machine gun and prevention of terrorism act POTA charges against the gangster. However, it is long and bitter war against the gangster turned politician that ended Shailendra Singh's career as he was forced to resign in 15 days by then Mulayam Singh Yadav led government. Reflecting on his career following the death of Mukhtar Ansari due to cardiac arrest, Shailendra Singh said he was one of who had first recovered the light machine gun from the gangster turned politician position. But the Mulayam government wanted to save him at any cost. He pressurized official IG range, DIG, and SP STF were transferred. Even I was made to resign within 15 days. But in my resignation, I wrote my reason and put it before the people that is the government you choose, which is protecting and working on the order of the mafia. I wasn't doing a favor to anyone. It was my duty, the former told cop told the ANI. Former DSP Shalendra Singh comes from a lineage of patriots. His grandfather took parts in India freedom struggle. Despite Ansari persona as a feared gangster and a seasoned politician, Shalendra Singh exhibited exemplary courage to pursue the gangster amid odds and political pressure. In 2004, Mukhtar Ansari vast criminal syndicate was it at peak. At that time, his rivalry was also escalating with then BJP MLA Krishnananda Rai, whom Ansari would go on to kill a year later. The chain of events started when unknown assailant opened fire on Mukhtar Ansari Kavalkad in Lucknow. While it was not established who led the attack, rumors circulated that Rai was the mastermind. After the shooting incident, police received intelligence that Ansari was trying to purchase a light machine gun. Sailendra Singh was then heading the Varanasi Special Task Force Unit. Singh intercepted the call that eventually confirmed Ansari plan to get hold of an LMG. Days later, the team led by Singh raided Varanasi Chaubepur area and seized the LMG and 200 cartridge. He charged Ansari with Pota. However, Singh claimed that he faced political pressure and was asked to halt proceedings. However, the DGP resigned from his post. That's the end of the story. If you like the content of our video, please do hit the subscribe button, share it with your families and friends, and do not forget to post a suggestion in the comment section below. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.